Welcome back to another episode of the Roblox Studio Tutorials. In this episode, I'll show you how to make a NPC that only moves when you look away from it. All right, so we're in Roblox Studio, and the first thing that we're going to do is head into Server Script Service and create a new script. I'm going to call this Handler. This is where we're going to handle all of the functionality of the not looking and looking of the NPCs. And we're going to remove this. We're going to remove this hello world, and I'm going to enter in some variables. One second. So we have the collection service variable, which is this first variable right here. We have the replicated store and we have the players. These are all services that we're getting before we get anything else. No, I did not mean to open you, AI Assist. And then down here, we have the variables. We have the FOV range, how much of your FOV the enemy is in. And if they are in that FOV range, then we have them stay still. But if they're outside of your FOV range, then we have them move. And the max distance, so if they're 5,000 studs away, then they'll be detected within your FOV range. And yeah, so we're going to head out of the script. I'm going to go into another script in server script service. I'm going to create one. I'm going to call this spawner controller. Did I spell that right? Yeah. I'm going to get rid of this hello world. I'm going to code this up real quick. Okay. So this script is quite short. Uh, only 32 lines of code to be exact. And we have the services up here. We have the debris. We have the server storage. And we have this noob which this T-Pose noob, which I will talk about more later. But if we move on from that, we have this noobs folder, which we're going to have to create in a little bit. But also we have these variables like we talked about earlier, but these variables are a little bit different. So this cooldown variable will be how long we wait until we make another noob into the world, which is what this create new function is doing. Just cloning that T-Pose noob that we're going to talk about later. And then adding the tag, we'll talk about that later too. And then spawning it into the world at a random position. This last one, we have this index one pretty much for so we can identify each and every single NPC exclusively. So we don't have to, so we are never overlapping. Every NPC has a specific index number associated with it. Let's go ahead and create this T-Pose noob in this. I, I did not mean to open that. We're going to head out of the script. I'm going to go into the workspace. I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call this noobs. We're going to speed run through this. And then in server storage, I have a noob model already ready. So I'm going to put that in there really quickly okay so here is our t-pose noob in server storage i just named it like that because the noob will be t-posed pretty much if we head out of this which we're not in anything but if we head back into the spawner controller we see we have the new and the t-pose the t-pose noob in the server storage which it is and we have the create the new noob wait no we have the noobs folder and workspace i'm tripping okay so let's head out of the script and go back into this handler script and let's finish creating the functionality for this script all right so within this script we're gonna have two functions Oh, actually, we're going to have one function and we're going to have one loop. This loop will be the main thing running this whole function. What this is pretty much doing is it's looping through all the NPCs that we tag with this specific tag that we put. So we're going to go into the spawner control script. I'm going to create a new string value. I'm going to call this tag value. If I can spell. And then we're going to have this tag value value be a random tag like a statue NPC. And then every time we create a new NPC that's going to be one of these statue NPCs that move when we're not looking, have that tag. When we ha and then we're going to, in this handle script, we're going to find that tag pretty much. That is what this script is doing. It's moving the NPC. If we are not looking at them, then we continue to move to the player. Or if it just doesn't find a player within that max distance that we set up here, it just stays where it's at. And it doesn't rotate, it doesn't do anything. And it, is, it's, it just remains idle. That's everything with this done. I'm going to go ahead and skim right through this real quick because I do not want to fail and have an error in the output because that would be incredibly embarrassing. But we're gonna we're gonna wing it. Okay. All right, we're in the game, and the enemy just spawned to my left. We're gonna approach this guy. You see, he's not moving. Okay. See, now we have a whole bunch of people here while I was even looking. And see, they're moving when I'm not looking at them. But if I look away, yeah. But if you want to use this in the game yourself, the link will be in the description below to get the model for it. You don't have to code anything. It's already made. You can just adjust some things if you want. If you want something a little more advanced, go ahead and check out my last video where I made a custom NPC pathfinding system you can use in your game today. Or click the card on the screen.